Thank you, Pastor Edward. God bless everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. I think you know that Komasi Akra Agana, my second book. I started coming 46 years ago. I was in Kumasi before many of you were born. Now we are together. God is going to do wonderful things in your life. Full salvation. Total healing. Say it's mine. You got it already. Father, we thank you for today. A glorious, happy day for us. I will thank you because of what you are going to do. You are here with your power for everyone. I'm asking Lord that tonight nobody will miss your blessing in Jesus' name. Send forth your power upon everyone. Send forth your salvation to everyone. And send forth your healing deliverance on everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can see that the blessing of the Lord. We're looking at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Look at this. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. You see the combination of the two things there? Healing and salvation. Salvation and healing. And we're asking for that from the Lord. The Lord who is able. The Lord who can do all things. And the Lord who has promised you that if you come, he will not drive you away. And so Jeremiah comes. And he speaks for faith. And he demands with assurance. And he said, you are the focus of my life and you are the source of my salvation and healing. He said, heal me, O Lord, and I know I shall be healed. If you say that in your heart today, if you believe that in your heart today, if you affirm, confess that in your mind today, tonight, you'll be healed. And then he said, save me and I shall be saved. No doubt. No one believed. He believed from the depth of his heart. Save me and I, I, I shall be saved. Tonight is your night. Full salvation. Total healing. Come see, amen is not like I when I came before. And then he tells us in James chapter 5. Reading from verse 15. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall heal, shall save. What else are we expecting? 
Christ died on the cross for you. Because of that death of Christ, salvation is sure. He bore your stripes. And because of those uh, stripes on Christ, you must be healed. And in the prayer of faith that does both. Please, don't put an impossibility on your condition. Also accept. And you believe that the prayer of faith tonight will avail for you. The Lord will surprise you with a miracle. The prayer of faith for full salvation and total healing. Three things we're looking at tonight. Number one, we're looking at accepting the benefits of joint together uh, salvation benefit joined together by God. God has joined together salvation and healing. They are joined together freedom and forgiveness. And because he joined them together, you can ask for two, uh, one, don't go yet, then you get the second double miracle for you tonight. Accepting the benefit joined together by God. Number two, asking for blessings joined together in his goodness. He said, come and I'll bless you. What are the blessings? The twin blessing of salvation and healing. Number three, acknowledging and believing as joined together by his grace. You see, I emphasize joined together. Salvation and healing. And God has joined them together. Some people say, I believe in salvation. My challenge is, I don't believe in healing. What God has joined together, let no theology and let no idea and let no opinion put us under. He joined healing and salvation together. Keep them together. Believe them together. And you're happy tonight in your body, in your spirit, in Jesus' name. Number one, accept. Number two, you are asking. Number three, acknowledge. Both are yours tonight. Give me a good, good amen. Number one, number one now, accepting the benefits joined together by God. Look at Psalm 103 verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Verse number two, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. It says, Forget not all his benefits. All the benefits God has promised you. All the promises, all the benefits that Christ provided on the cross of Calvary. When you pray, don't forget. When you say amen, don't forget. Before you go home, don't forget. 
as you are here tonight, don't forget all his benefits for you coming upon you right here today. What I did, look at verse 3. In verse 3, who forgives all thine iniquities, so he let all thy diseases. He joined them together in one verse. He joined them together at the victory that Christ had on the cross of Calvary, forgiveness and healing. He joined them together in the provision that he has made for you, forgiveness and healing. He forgives all thine iniquities. How many of your sins, transgression and iniquity, will he forgive tonight? Tell me. How many of your sicknesses, diseases, infirmity will he heal tonight? He'll heal, heal you over there. Look at them over there. Healing is coming on you. Over there, you especially. God has marked you down for salvation. Et Look at Isaiah chapter 53. And I'm reading here from verse 4. It says, Surely, there's no doubt here tonight. There's belief and faith here tonight. Surely, He has borne our graves and He has carried our souls. Yet, we did esteem Him smitten of God and afflicted. Smitting of God on your behalf. You should have been smitten. But because Christ came to take your place. Now, he is smitten so that there will be no smiting coming upon your life in Jesus' name. Afflicted. You should have been afflicted. You earned affliction by the works of your hand, by the lifestyle you live. You earned and you ought to have affliction. But Jesus says no. What you merit, which is affliction, I take away from you. He comes to replace you. He comes to be your substitute and so instead of you being afflicted Christ had been afflicted for you look at verse 5 in verse 5 it says but he was wounded for our transgression that's how we have forgiveness because Christ the Savior your Lord, your substitute, He has borne all that for you. And He, Christ, and He, Savior, and He, Redeemer, and He, our Mediator, He has been wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Look at that. That's the area of your salvation. Iniquity taken away. Transgression forgiven. The yoke and depression and the uh, kind of bondage of sin broken away from your life. That's salvation. Now look at the latter part here. And with his stripes, we are healed. Salvation and then healing. Joined together 
in the same verse again. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, all we like sheep have gone astray. Nous étions tous errants comme des brebis. And we have turned everyone to his own way. Chacun suivait sa propre voie. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Et l'Éternel a fait retomber sur lui l'iniquité de nous tous. Il y a quelque chose pour lequel il faut crier. Il y a quelque chose pour lequel il faut le louer. Because he laid on him the transgression, the sin, the evil, and the iniquity of us all. Parce qu'il a fait retomber sur lui les iniquités, les péchés, les transgressions de nous tous. Matthieu chapter 8. Matthieu 8. I'm reading from verse 16. In Matthieu chapter 8. When the evening was come, the soir. You know things have not changed. This evening, there, there, everywhere. When the evening was come, the shows have not changed. The soir, son temps, the soir, maintenant pas. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. The soir, on a mené auprès de Jésus. Plusieurs démoniaques. And he cast out the spirits with his word. Il chassa les esprits par sa parole. He didn't have to touch them one by one. Il ne devait pas les toucher l'un après l'autre. With his word. Par sa parole. He cast out all the evil spirits. Il chassa les esprits mauvais. And the word you are hearing tonight is not my word; it's His word. La parole que tu entends ce soir, ce n'est pas ma parole, c'est sa parole. That's why I read it to you from His holy Bible. Voilà pourquoi je vous lis sa parole de sa sainte Bible. And as you hear, et comme tu entends, as you accept, comme tu acceptes, as you believe, comme tu crois, as you confess that is mine. Et comme tu confesses ça, c'est pour moi. His word coming out from here, getting to you there. Will hear you tonight. Et sa parole qui sort d'ici et qui t'atteint là-bas, tu seras guéri. He'll take it away. Il va ôter ta maladie. That fever, malaria, he'll take it away. Cette fièvre sur par lui va l'enlever. The fever will run away from your life. Et la fièvre qui pourrait va disparaître de ta vie. Your blind eyes will open. Et tes yeux avec vont s'ouvrir. The paralyzed legs will see strength tonight. You will rise and walk. Tes pieds paralysés vont recevoir la force, vont te lever à marcher. Am I talking about you, say a good amen? Donne un grand mère. Par sa parole, il chassa les esprits et guérit tous les malades. Il n'a pas besoin de les toucher. Sa parole n'a pas changé. Le ciel à terre passeront, mais ma parole, dit-il, ne passera jamais. That was sick. Et il guérit tous les malades. The same Jesus who had not changed, he healed all. Le même Jésus n'a pas changé. Il guérit tous les malades. The same God of love, a pretty throat cries, is only begotten Son. That love has not changed. He healed them all. Le Dieu d'amour n'a pas changé. Il opère toujours. Son Fils aussi rempli d'amour n'a pas changé. Il guérit tous les malades. Qui va-t-il guérir ce soir? Où sont-ils? Le ciel t'a vu là-bas. Il te donnera cette guérison. Qui veut être sauvé ce soir? Pardonné ce soir? Affranchi ce soir? Où sont-ils? Amen. Le ciel le confie dans ta vie au nom de Jésus. Look at verse 17. Verse 17. In verse 17, it says that age might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, that Isaiah, the prophet, saying himself, "Took our infirmities and bear our sickness." Afin que s'accomplisse ce qui avait été annoncé par Isaïe le prophète, il a pris nos infirmités. Il s'est chargé de nos maladies. Et voyez les deux choses ensemble encore. Il se tue à nos infirmités et il bea à nos Il a pris nos infirmités, voyez, et il s'est chargé de nos maladies. Nous avons l'assurance ce soir. Que le salut et la guérison te parviendront là-bas. 
lui qui a porté lui-même le péché en son corps sur le bois, ça c'est pour notre salut. That, that we've been dead to sin, should live unto righteousness. The salvation, that's conversion, that the new life. Afin que mort au péché, nous vivions pour la justice. Ça c'est la conversion, ça c'est le salut. From his tribe. Mais pas ses mérites. Of his crucifixion. À cause de sa crucifixion. Because of his sacrifice. À cause de son sacrifice. Because of his substitution. À cause de sa substitution. We have salvation. Nous avons le salut. We have Et nous avons la guérison. Let me say it properly. Laissez-moi bien le dire. You have salvation. Toi tu as le salut. You have Et toi tu healing. as la guérison. Double. 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 Join together. Join ensemble. And what God has joined together, it is promise, it is provision, it is power. Let no one put us on. Et ce que Dieu a joint dans sa promesse, dans sa provision, et par sa puissance que personne ne sait pas. Verset 25. Verset 25. Going astray. That's what I said in verse 6 of chapter 53. But are now returned unto the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. Car vous étiez comme des brebis errants. C'est ce que Isaiah dit dans Isaiah 53, verset 6. Mais maintenant, vous êtes retourné vers le pasteur et les gardiens, le berger de vos âmes. Quand tu viens à Christ ce soir, le salut te sera donné. Quand tu viens à Christ ce soir, Healing will be your portion. La guérison sera ta portion. Look at number two here. Deuxième point maintenant. Point number two. Deuxième point. Asking for blessings. Join together in His goodness. Demandez les bénédictions réunies, jointes dans sa bonté. Asking for the blessing. Demandez la bénédiction. You're not just okay. If he wants to heal me, let him heal me. You will ask. Tu ne vas pas dire bon. Si il veut, il n'a qu'à me guérir. Non, tu dois demander. I'm here. If he wants to save me, let him save me. No, you will ask. Tu ne vas pas dire bon. Si il veut me sauver, je suis là. Non, tu dois demander. Jeremiah, chapter 17. Voyons Jérémie encore chapitre 17. Verse 14. Verset 14. He says, "Heal me, O Lord." He was asking. Il dit guéris-moi éternel. Il demandait. Et quiconque demande reçoit. If you count yourself, impossible to be healed. Maintenant, si tu te considères et quand ton cas est impossible à guérir. How old am I now? Am I looking for healing? I'm waiting for death. Et si tu te dis bon avec mon âge, il a pour être chercher la guérison. Non, j'attends la mort. You have to ask if you're going to get. Si tu dois demander si tu veux avoir. Healing. La guérison. From every infirmity and every ailment. De toute infimité, de toute maladie. Healing. La guérison. From long-standing sickness. Healing from eternal disease. La guérison des maladies de longue date et la guérison pour les maladies terminales, les maladies qui te donnent la douleur. Pain in your body. Il colle la douleur dans le corps. Pain in your mind. Il colle la douleur dans ton esprit. Pain in your soul. Il colle la douleur dans ton âme. And you're wondering what's happening to me. Et tu te demandes mais qu'est-ce qui m'arrive? Am I going and going and going? Will it be said soon gone? Est-ce que bientôt va dire que je suis parti? But you know. Everything will change tonight. Mais tu sais tout va changer ce soir. In your body, everything will change tonight. Dans ton corps, tout va changer ce soir. Healing is coming to you. La guérison vient pour toi. Strength is coming to you. La force vient pour toi. Power is coming to you. La puissance vient pour toi. Freedom is coming to you. La libération vient pour toi. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Guéris-moi, Éternel, et je serai guéri. And then save me. And I shall be saved. Alors sauve-moi, je serai sauvé. The man could not save himself, just like you cannot save yourself. Voyez, l'homme ne pouvait pas se sauver comme toi, mais tu ne peux pas te sauver. No matter what power you have, you cannot save yourself from sin. Peu importe le pouvoir que tu as, tu ne peux pas te sauver du péché. No matter how religious you are. 
Jeremiah was religious, but he could not save himself. Save me, O oh Lord, and I shall be saved. Peu importe ton niveau de religiosité, tu ne peux pas te sauver parce que Jérémie était religieux, mais il a crié no sauve-moi. I mean you are. Tu... Save myself. No, you cannot. You cannot. Nobody is able to save himself from the guilt of sin, from the power of sin, and from the habit of sin. Jeremiah could not do that and so he prayed save me O Lord and I shall be saved Peu importe ton niveau de détermination aucun homme ne peut se sauver donc du péché Jérémie a dû crier sauve-moi et je serai sauvé How many times have you said I will not do that anymore Combien de fois n'as-tu pas dit je ne veux plus faire la chose là ah, J'ai pris la décision. Je suis déterminé. I will not do that je ne le ferai plus. And you made Et tu as pris des résolutions. You are going to be saved by your resolution. Et quand tu veux être sauvé par tes résolutions. You could not, you cannot, you will never be able, no matter who you are, save yourself from sin and get yourself ready for heaven by your own strength. Et tu you ne cannot. peux en aucun cas te sauver, peu importe ce que tu fais, tu ne peux pas te sauver du péché. That's the reason why he prayed, save me and I shall be saved. Voilà pourquoi il a prié, sauve-moi et je serai sauvé. And tonight is the night of your salvation. Et ce soir, c'est la soirée de ton salut. And you know, you are powerless, but he is powerful. Et vous savez, vous êtes important, mais il est you puissant. You know, it's impossible for you, but all things are possible with God. Et vous savez, vous ne pouvez pas, mais tout est possible à Dieu. You know, there is no sacrifice you can offer that will save you, but Christ has made the final and the full sacrifice. Et peu importe ce que vous faites, Christ a fait le sacrifice. You will praise the Lord tonight. Tu vas louer le Seigneur ce soir. Joy of salvation will come to you. La joie du salut viendra the pour toi. The victory we have in salvation, the triumph we have in salvation will come to you tonight. La victoire, le triomphe que nous avons dans le salut te parviendra. At my praise. Mais tu es ma louange. In Mark chapter 2. En Mark chapitre 2. Reading from verse 5. Verset 5. Mark chapter 2. Reading from verse 5. Mark 5, verse 2. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins are forgiven thee. Voyons à part du, de Mark chapitre 2, le verset 2. Et il s'assembla un si grand nombre de personnes. You know, those four friends that carried this important man, they had love in their heart. For that man. Vous voyez ces quatre amis qui ont porté ce homme, ils avaient de l'amour pour lui dans leur cœur. Did Jesus say when he saw their love, when he a... said, "Your sins be forgiven thee"? Est-ce qu'on a dit que Jésus a vu leur amour là, dit que tes péchés te no. sont pardonnés? Non. Some people say, "God knows I love everyone. God knows I give my time to serve everyone. God knows I help everyone." Jesus did not say when he saw their help, when he saw the time they gave to the man. He said when he saw their faith. Vous voyez, Jésus ici a vu ce que ces gens-là ont fait et il a dit, lorsque Jésus a vu when leur foi, no. est-ce que c'est leur amitié? Non. When he saw their hope, no. Est-ce que c'est lorsqu'il a vu leur espérance? When non. He saw their faith. Quand il a vu leur foi. Says, what must I do to be saved? Qu'est-ce que je dois faire pour être sauvé? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's by faith. Crois au Seigneur Jésus et tu seras sauvé. By grace I was saved through faith. C'est pas la grâce que vous avez sauvé au moyen de la that, foi. Not of Cela ne vient pas de vous. Nothing you have done. Il n'y a rien que vous avez pu no faire. Sacrifice you have made. Il n'y a pas de sacrifice que vous avez no pu faire. Human love you have shown. Il n'y a aucun amour que vous pouvez no manifester. You have in any vous ne pouvez pas um, inscrire votre nom dans un registre donné. Qui pourra sauver votre âme? Il a vu leur foi. 
qui pour avoir votre foi. Votre foi en Christ. Le Christ qui est mort au calvaire. Et le Christ qui est mort pour ôter vos péchés. Et vous n'avez plus confiance en vous-même. In your own human world. En votre œuvre humaine, you mais have confidence and faith in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Vous avez confiance en notre Seigneur Sauveur Jésus Christ. That's why I'll be calling on you tonight. C'est pourquoi je vous invite ce soir. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Tu crois au Seigneur Jésus Christ. You ask Him for salvation. Tu demandes le salut. You ask Him for a change of life. Tu demandes un changement de vie. You ask Him for transformation that only Christ. Tu demandes la transformation que seul Christ peut donner. I will call it on you tonight. Je vais vous inviter ce to soir. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. À croire au Seigneur Jésus pour être and sauvé. So when Jesus saw their faith and said to the man who was sick, a palsy son, thy sins be forgiven. Thee. Et quand Jésus donc a vu leur foi, il a dit au malade que tes péchés te soient pardonnés. Look at verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy that sins be forgiven thee salvation, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed and walk, healing? Voyez, verse 9. Lequel est le plus aisé de dire aux paralytiques, Tes péchés sont pardonnés, le salut? Ou de dire, lève-toi, prends ton lit et marche la guérison. Forgiven, les, les péchés pardonnés, le salut. Sickness healed, healing. La maladie guérit la guérison. Verset verse 10. Il dit, « Mais que la vie de l'homme a le pouvoir sur la terre de pardonner les péchés. » Puis, il dit, « Unto the sick, Of the policy. Verset 10. Or, oh, afin que vous sachiez que le Fils de l'homme a sur la terre le pouvoir de pardonner les péchés. In verse 11. Verset 11. I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Je te l'ordonne, dit-il au paralytique, lève-toi, prends ton lit et va dans ta maison. Him. Il n'a pas, pu, il il pas touché cet homme. Him. Il n'a pas secoué. Il n'a pas versé de l'eau sur lui. Il n'a pas répandu de l'huile sur lui. Il n'a mis ça, même pas baissé sur lui. Word. Sa parole. His declaration. Sa déclaration. C'est ça qui apporte la guérison. Je dis à vous, prenez votre bed. And walk. Je te l'ordonne, prends ton lit et marche. Go back to your house. Et retourne chez toi. Going back to your house healed tonight. Tu repartiras chez toi guéri ce soir. Look at verse 12. Verset 12. Verse 12. And immediately he arose, he took up his bed and went forth before them all. Before them all, you will come before us all and give your testimony tonight. Verset 12. Et à l'instant, il se leva, prit son lit et sortit It's, en présence de tout le monde. So tu sortiras en présence de tout le monde pour donner ton témoignage ce soir. Amazed, they were all surprised and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. De sorte qu'ils étaient tous dans l'étonnement et glorifiaient Dieu, disant, nous n'avons jamais rien vu de pareil. Look at Acts chapter 10, verse Voyons, 38. Acte 10, 38. <coughs> In Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acte 10, verset 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about Doing good, healing is of his goodness, not of your feeling, not of your effort, not of your power, not of your determination. No, it's his goodness that brings the healing upon us. It says he went about 
doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the Vous savez comment Dieu a oint du Saint Esprit de force de Jésus de Nazareth qui allait de lui en lui faisant du bien. Vous savez, la guérison ne fait pas de son bien. Ce n'est pas votre bonté, votre détermination, vos sacrifices, non. Et tous ceux qui étaient sous l'empire du diable, car Dieu était Is avec God lui. Est-ce que Dieu est bon ce soir? Est-ce que Dieu est bon ce soir? Est-ce que sa bonté a changé? Est-ce que son amour a changé? Est-ce que sa puissance a changé? Et la même bonté avec laquelle il allait partout guérissant les gens te parviendra ce soir. Je te vois là-bas te lever de ton fauteuil roulant. I can just see you rubbing your eyes and say, Am I seeing? Am I seeing? Because your sight. Je te vois en train de frotter les yeux, te demandant, mais est-ce que je vois, est-ce que je vois, oui, tu vas voir parce que ta vue te sera redonnée. Je te vois en train de jeter les bâtons, les béquilles là, et tu es debout, tu trembles un peu, tu dis non, Dieu est encore bon, il est bon, et tu fais le premier pas, le deuxième pas. Voyons 2 Timothée 2, 3. 1 Timothée 2, verset 3. Il est bon et acceptable dans les yeux de Dieu, notre Sauveur. Il est acceptable dans les yeux de Dieu, notre Sauveur. 1 Timothée 2, 3. Cela est bon et agréable devant Dieu, notre Père, notre Sauveur. Il dit ça, c'est bon. De quoi parle-t-il en disant que cela est bon? Verset 4 maintenant. Verset 4, il dit Qui aura. All men to be saved. Qui veut que tous les hommes soient sauvés? This is good. Cela est bon. He wants all men, all women, all boys, all girls here tonight to be saved. Il veut que tous les hommes, toutes les femmes, tous les garçons, toutes les filles ici présents soient sauvés. The knowledge of the truth. Et parviennent à la connaissance de la vérité. Good salvation will come your way Le bon salut te parviendra au nom Good de Jésus. Healing will come to your way tonight. La bonne guérison te parviendra ce soir. All, all there, there, here, there, online, everywhere to be saved and to be healed. Tonight. Il veut que tous se soient sauvés. Là-bas, ici, en ligne, là où nous sommes, Look que tous soient sauvés. Now. Troisième point maintenant. Number three, we're looking at acknowledging and believing as joined together by His grace. Reconnaître et croire comme joint par sa grâce. What God has joined together, grace confirms in our lives. Ce que Dieu a joint, la grâce le confirme dans notre vie. Healing, salvation that God has joined together, God. Provides them for you, for all, by grace tonight. Ce que Dieu a joint, le salut, la grâce, Dieu le confirme dans notre vie par sa grâce. Believing as joined together by His grace. Reconnaître et croire comme joint par sa grâce. In Luke chapter one. In Luke chapter one. From verse forty-five. Verse forty-five. It says, "And blessed is she, and he also that." Believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were uh, told her from the Lord. Luke 1, 45, heureuse, heureux, celle ou celui qui a cru, parce que les choses qui lui ont été dites de la part du Seigneur auront leur accomplissement. Is the person who believed. Il dit heureux ou heureuse la personne qui a cru. You are the person. Et c'est toi la personne. I believe. Moi, je crois. I acknowledge. Je reconnais. The blessing he brings to me tonight. Les bénédictions qui m'apportent ce soir. That will come to you. Elles te parviendront. There will be a performance of everything you have heard that God has promised and provided salvation to you Himself in His goodness and by His grace. As you believe. It's yours tonight. Et comme tu crois, la, les bontés du Seigneur, du salut, la guérison, te parviendront verse ce 47. soir. In verse 47, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. Verset 47, 
Et mon esprit se réjouit en Dieu, that mon sauveur. Ça, c'est l'évidence de croire. J'entends, j'accepte. I hear, I ask. J'entends, je demande. I ask, I ask and I acknowledge. Je reconnais et j'accepte. And my soul rejoices because he fulfills his promise in my life. Et mon âme se réjouit parce qu'il accomplit ses promesses dans ma vie. 27, verse 25. Act 27. In Acts 27, 25, where for sirs, be of good cheer for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. Acte 27 verset 25 La Bible dit C'est pourquoi homme oh, rassurez-vous car j'ai cette confiance en Dieu qu'il sera comme il m'a été dit. Je crois j'ai l'assurance que pour le Seigneur va me sauver. I am told if I ask for healing he'll heal me now. On m'a dit si je demande la guérison, il va me guérir maintenant. Then I'm of good cheer. Alors prenez courage. I'm happy. Je suis content. I'm excited about je suis this. vraiment content à ce I sujet. I believe God that it shall be even as it has been told me. Car j'ai cette confiance en Dieu qu'il en sera comme il m'a été dit. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. 2 Corinthians 4 13. We having the same spirit of faith. Et comme nous avons le même esprit de foi. According as it is written. Qui est exprimé dans cette parole de l'écriture, j'ai cru. And therefore have I spoken. C'est pourquoi j'ai parlé. We also believe and therefore we speak. Nous aussi nous croyons et c'est pour cela que nous parlons. Do I speak? Comment parlons-nous? God said he will save me. I'm here. I know he'll save me now. I believe so I speak. Alors comment parlons-nous? Dieu a dit qu'il va me sauver. Alors je suis là. Je le dis et je he sais qu'il va me sauver. He will heal me. He will deliver me. Only need to call upon him. Yes, Lord. I believe and so I speak. I declare. Alors il a promis me guérir. Alors me voici. Je dis Seigneur, je suis là. Comme tu l'as dit, je crois, je confesse que tu me guéris. Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah 33. I'm reading from verse 24. Verset 24. Isaiah 33. Isaiah 33. Reading from verse 24. Verset 24. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. Aucun habitant ne dit, je suis malade. The people who come before him in his presence to the crusade tonight. Here and online, after the prayer, after the final amen, shall not say, I am sick. Alors, tous ceux qui viennent la croisade, en physique ou en ligne, aucun d'eux ne dira après la prière, après My le dernier amen, je suis malade. Brother, sister, dear, tonight, the people that come here, participate in the preaching, participate in the prayer, shall not say, I am sick. Mes frères et sœurs, vous qui nous suivez, qui nous entendez, n'importe où vous êtes, après la prière, la prédication, aucun ne dira je suis malade. That's healing. Il y a la guérison. Look at the second part. Oui, la deuxième partie. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Le peuple That's de Jérusalem reçoit le pardon de ses iniquités. Ça, c'est le salut. The Lord has joined them together. Le Seigneur les a joints. The healing, the salvation. La guérison et le salut. The forgiveness and the freedom. Le pardon et la libération. It is yours tonight. Et c'est pour toi ce soir. Where are you? I said it is yours tonight. C'est pour toi ce soir. Full salvation. Le plein salut. Not partial salvation. Ce n'est pas un salut partiel. That it takes away some sins and then you are still struggling and battling with other sins. So that's partial. Full salvation. Ce n'est pas un salut où certaines choses s'en vont et restent d'autres choses. Ça c'est partiel. C'est le plein salut. For the asking. Ce soir il faut seulement demander. Who wants salvation? Qui you veut le salut? Hand, tu lèves simplement la main. It comes upon you instantaneously. Et ça vient instantanément sur toi. Anybody wanting um, healing there, what are you? You raise up your hand, it comes to you instantaneously. Est-ce que quelqu'un veut la guérison là-bas? Tu lèves la main et ça vient instantanément. Tonight is my night. Ce soir, c'est ma soirée. I want you to say it. Je veux que tu le répètes. Let me over here 
hear you. Que je t'entende depuis là où je suis. Let heaven hear you. Que le ciel t'entende. Register in your name in Jesus name. Et c'est enregistré sous ton nom au nom de Jésus. Ready for salvation right now. Prêt pour le salut maintenant. I said, are you ready for that salvation right now? Et dis-tu que tu es prêt pour ce salut maintenant? It's bowed and eyes closed. La tête baissée, les yeux fermés. Congrats, salvation comes to you right now. Félicitations, le salut te parvient maintenant. It's bowed, eyes closed. La tête baissée, les yeux fermés. You're asking for this salvation of the Lord. Est-ce que tu demandes le salut du Seigneur? That He will forgive every sin you ever committed in life. Qu'il pardonne tous les péchés que tu as jamais commis dans ta vie. He'll break the yoke of sin. Il va briser le joug du péché. You free. Il va t'affranchir. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. N'importe où tu es, lève simplement la main. Your salvation that Christ provided at Calvary has come to you tonight. Le salut que Christ a pourvu sur la croix te parviendra. Raise up that hand. Lève cette main. I'm looking for you. Je te cherche là-bas. Raise up that hand there. I'm looking for you. Lève cette main là-bas. Je te cherche. Online, everywhere. Stand up and raise up that hand. En ligne, n'importe où vous êtes, levez, vous levez la main. On the radio, on the television, stand up. Dans la radio, à la télévision, vous nous écoutez, vous nous suivez. Levez, vous levez la main. Le salut vous parvient maintenant. As you are raising up your hand. Comme vous levez la main. I want you to stand up. Je veux que vous mettez debout. Salvation has come. Le salut est venu. Angels are rejoicing. Les anges se réjouissent en votre faveur. He'll forgive every sin. Il va pardonner tout péché. You raise up your hand. You stand up. Vous levez la main. Vous levez. Don't look here and there. Stand up. Ne regardez pas à gauche à droite. Mettez vous debout. And then you open your mouth and ask, Oh Lord, I need your salvation. Alors ouvrez la bouche et demandez, Seigneur, j'ai besoin de ton salut. I believe. Je crois. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Tu es mort pour moi sur la croix du calvaire. I believe. Je crois. You are ready to write my name in the book of life. Tu es prêt à écrire mon nom dans le livre de vie. I believe. Je crois. Without salvation, without freedom, without forgiveness, eternal life comes to me right now. Avec ce salut, avec cette délivrance, la vie éternelle me parvient directement. Stand up. Debout. I'm praying for you now. Je prie pour vous maintenant. The front and the back, Devant, derrière, partout vous êtes. Mettez-vous debout. Priez pour votre pray salut now. maintenant. Let us pray. Prions ensemble. Good God, loving Father. Bon Dieu, Père aimable. Thank you because you are impartial. Merci parce que tu es impartial. You accept everyone who comes. Tu acceptes tous ceux qui viennent. Ever deep in the valley of sinfulness. Quelle que soit la profondeur dans laquelle ils sont dans la vallée du péché. In the, on the mountain of crime. Quelle que soit la hauteur dans Every le crime. Everyone who comes. Quiconque vient. Everyone who calls. Quiconque invoque. Everyone who confesses. Quiconque confesse. And they demand and ask. For the salvation Christ has provided. Et demande le salut pour lequel Christ you a pourvu. Tu ne rejettes personne. Lord, all these that are asking for salvation. Seigneur, tous ceux qui demandent le salut. Asking for forgiveness. Ils demandent le pardon. Asking for freedom from the power of sin. Ils demandent la libération du pouvoir du péché. Grant them that salvation in Jesus' name. Accorde leur ce salut au nom de Jésus. And forgive all their sins. Et pardonne tous leurs péchés. Wipe away all their transgressions. Efface toutes leurs transgressions. Blot out all the dirty, dirty things in their record. Up there with you in Jesus' name. Et fais toutes les mauvaises choses enregistrées contre eux dans ton livre au Take nom de Jésus. Their sin from even your remembrance oh, and even their own remembrance as well. De ton souvenir, même de leur mémoire. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Because your forgiveness has come to everyone. Parce que ton pardon est parvenu à tous ceux qui demandent ce pardon. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Because real salvation, Parce definite salvation, salut, the salvation that makes us new creatures in Christ, that salvation has come to everyone. Asking for the salut est parvenu à tous ceux qui demandent et qui
croix ce soir. We pray that your spirit, the Holy Ghost, will bear witness with the spirit. Demandons que ton esprit, ton Saint Esprit, rende témoignage à leur cœur, à leur esprit, que maintenant ils sont sauvés. And let angels rejoice in heaven because of the salvation you have brought to them. Et que les anges se réjouissent au ciel à cause du salut que tu leur as accordé. Let there be that experience of salvation and the evidence of that salvation. Et qui est dans cette évidence du salut et cette preuve du pardon. And let a new life become the expression. Of the salvation you have given to them today. Et que maintenant la nouvelle vie soit l'expression du salut que tu leur as accordé. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. Merci, Seigneur, parce que nous savons que tu as exaucé. In Jesus' name, we pray. Au nom de Jésus, nous prions. God bless you. Keep on standing, our counselors, members of the choir. Ushers, all the prepared counselors will come to you now. Que Dieu vous bénisse toujours debout. Ne vous asseyez pas. Nos conseillers, ceux-là qui ont été préparés, pour vous aider, vous accompagner, viendront vers vous. Notre pasteur va nous diriger dans cette session de conseil. That's one. Remember, there's a second one. The Lord has joined for the salvation. And we'll get that to you before we go in Jesus' name. Et rappelez-vous que il y a un et deux. Ça c'est un. Maintenant il y a une deuxième chose que le Seigneur joint au salut. Je reviendrai pour ça avant que nous rentrions au nom de Jésus. The decision you have taken tonight is the greatest decision of life. La décision que vous avez prise est la plus grande de votre vie ce soir. Allow the counselors to get your particulars. Permettez aux conseillers de prendre vos informations. Votre nom, votre numéro et tous les détails qui vous aideront à vraiment vous assister à continuer dans cette salvation. Et toutes vos informations, donnez-les aux conseillers, s'il vous plaît. Vous n'avez pas besoin de vous donner des informations. Vous n'avez pas besoin de vous donner des informations. It's not enough to raise up your hand at the stadium here. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, Then are ye my disciples indeed? Ne tu ne suis pas de lever la main ou la croisade, non. Jésus a dit si vous demeurez dans ma parole, vous serez vraiment mes disciples. So counselors, get closer to them, write down their names and all the details you need to put down. Alors donc que vous qui avez levé la main, ne la baissez pas. Les conseillers sont là. Ils vont prendre vos informations. You are born again, and you are going to give correct name, correct address, correct phone number. Donc, je sais que vous êtes né de nouveau maintenant. Vous allez donner des vraies informations sur vous, numéro de téléphone et tout ce qu'on vous demandera. Our goal is to assist you to continue in the faith. Et notre objectif, c'est de vous aider, vous accompagner dans cette nouvelle vie. If you are watching online, if you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, et vous avez donné votre vie à Christ après le message de l'homme de Dieu ce soir. There is a link. Il y a un lien qui s'affiche. Vous qui êtes en ligne. Jck hq. Vous verrez ce lien là. Jck connect. Jck hq. Vous verrez jck point org. Below your player. Donc sur votre écran, vous qui êtes en ligne, cliquez sur le lien. Il y a un formulaire qui va s'afficher que vous allez bien vouloir remplir. So we can assist you for the in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television, via the radio or television. Si vous nous suivez en ligne, and you just gave your life vous avez écouté la radio, vous avez donné votre vie à Christ, please send your name, envoyez vos noms, your phone number, and your location address, et là où vous êtes, via SMS or WhatsApp. Par SMS, vous pouvez nous écrire. Par les numéros qui vous sont communiqués dans votre pays, sur les chaînes où vous écoutez. Ou bien vous pouvez également nous joindre sur plus 234 Four four nine two six three.
There will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus for all those who have given their lives to Christ now. The meeting will be tomorrow by 3 p.m. at the stadium here where we have the canopy on top there. You have to be focused and serious with the decision you have taken. And as you are directed and taught and encouraged by the grace of God, this decision is going to remain with you permanently till you leave this world. Your decision is just like a new baby that has been born. It is the mother to take care of the child to be able to grow. The decision you have taken tonight spiritually is you are a newborn babe in Christ. And it is up to the counselors, the pastors, and the leaders over you to make sure that we bring you up in the Lord. Be able to au conseil au pasteur que nous sommes. Nous prenons soin de vous de vous aider à grandir spirituellement. It's for your own good. Maybe you have taken such decisions before, but you did not pursue. We want to encourage you that tomorrow by 3 p.m., come to this place. And they cannot be at the stadium there, and we will give you all you need to be able to stand. Vous qui êtes dans les nations, dans les régions, on vous informera également de la séance qui sera organisée pour vous. Counselors, we want you to get closer to the people who gave their lives. Make sure that proper documentation is made on their behalf. Donc, chers conseillers, prenez correctement les informations, s'il vous plaît. Also, there is going to be Converse Rally. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday, 4th August. Donc le dimanche 4 août 2024, il y aura un programme spécial pour tous ceux qui donnent leur vie au Seigneur au cours de ce programme. Le pasteur de Convena sera be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Et le pasteur sera ravi de vous compter parmi les participants. Also, there's going to be Alpha Locations Believers Banquet on Sunday. As I've said, 4th August 2024. At all deeper life Bible churches all over the globe and also at the Alpha location, wherever we have Donc, deeper life êtes, location, you can get suivez, closer. And then you will be instructed as to what to do. La vie profonde pour avoir donc les détails et le lieu où se tiendra donc ce rallye des convertis le dimanche 4 août. So counselors, make sure that you are doing good work on the people who surrendered their lives to Christ. This night, give correct information. And the counselors also should write the correct information given. And if you have finished. You can signify by raising up the flag so that we know 
where you are, where you are free. Baby, I want to see what you hope for man. I want to see what you hope for man. I want to see what you hope for man. Counselors, hurry up and make sure that you write down their names, their phone numbers, and the places where they are living. I can't share for my hurry. Next month, yes, I can be also. What share one a team one telephone number? Any be able to do our own thing, you Our goal is to help you to be established in the faith. You put that in the paper. What is the team? Our goal is to help you to continue in the decision you have taken. When everything is over, your decision can give you a better destiny. You need to be fed on the, with the word of God. It's when we know you, when we see you, be able to do all those things. Counselors, signify by raising up the flag if you are finished. Don't forget if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message, this evening, there's a link, gckhq.org slash connect below your player. Please visit the link and fill out the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or tele television and you just surrender your life to Christ, please send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS. Or WhatsApp to plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Counselors, please signify for us to know where you are. I can for me Okay, others should please signify so that the next aspect of the program will come up. There will be special meeting called Lunch Hour with Jesus for all those who gave their lives to Jesus tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the stadium here where we have the canopy. You may be from Kobe Koso, Yanko Power China, no me and son. Please take note and show your seriousness for the decision you have taken tonight by meeting the counselors at the stadium here 3 p.m. before the evening program starts. So all the Bible, Deeper Life Bible churches globally, as well as the 
Alpha location here. There's going to be Believer's Banquet on Sunday, 4th August 2024. So, if you are a counselor, you have finished your part, please let's know about it. What about here? Let's see if you have finished your part. You have finished so at this time, we want to call upon our convener and our pastor to come and continue. Amen. I see your healing coming your direction and coming to you tonight. You are welcome that healing. You accept. accept. You ask. I'll be asking for you here. You acknowledge. I said you acknowledge. And you are welcome that healing. Amen. Amen. It's on that hand. And lead the other hand when you have a challenge. Your healing has come. We are going to pray now. We are asking. You will receive all of Father, in Jesus' name. We bless your name for your love and compassion. For your goodness and grace that will never fail. As for everyone, brother, sister, man, woman, boy, girl, Lord, I pray their healing and deliverance will come to them now in Jesus' name. Mental problem, lunacy, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, I command you get out and my brother, my sister, my daughter, my son there, receive your sight in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, oh Lord, let the hearing come back to them. Take away the dumbness and they will speak well. In Jesus' name. Any swelling in the tummy, in the under the arm, in the feet, anywhere, swelling, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Je vous commande, enflement, tumeur, disparaissez au nom de Jésus. Oh, ça, be healed in Jesus' name. Je sais, sois guéri au nom de Jésus. Can ça, be healed in Jesus' name. Je sais, sois guéri au nom de Jésus. Pas, be healed in Jesus' name. Hémorroïde, sois guéri au nom de Jésus. We speak, come out in Jesus' name. Douleur à la hanche. Disparaît au nom de Jésus. I cannot walk if you feel I have to, have to rest. All the tiredness, all the weak heart. Lord, I pray, strength will come to them. Healing will come to everyone. Confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Fatigue, épuisement. On marche, on peut, on est fatigué. Mais je prie que toute lassitude. Le cœur qui sont fatigués, qu'ils reçoivent maintenant leur guérison I au nom de Jésus. Become normal right now in Jesus' name. Que ce problème de tension soit normalisé maintenant au nom de Jésus. Any injury be healed in Jesus' name. Que les yeux soient guéris au nom de Jésus. 
Palisades, come out in Jesus' name. We are on the Lord of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Levez-vous et marchez. The power of the Lord rise up and walk. Dans la puissance du Seigneur, levez-vous et marchez. But I pray everyone now without exception. To the right, to the left, to the back, to the middle, to the front, online, over the television, over the radio, your healing arrives right now. Be healed, be delivered in Jesus' name. Ceux qui suivent à la radio, à la télévision, partout où ils se trouvent, soyez guéris. Que votre guérison vous parle maintenant au nom de Jésus. Merci Seigneur, c'est fait. Pour mon frère, ma sœur, ma soeur, ma daughter, c'est fait. C'est fait. Ici et en ligne, everywhere, c'est fait. Partout, c'est fait. Confirme-le dans chaque vie, Seigneur. In Jesus' name, we pray. Au nom de Jésus, nous prions. Apostle, now. It is done.